Christopher Ray Dowfit was last seen on October the 25th, 2013. His mother drove him to his roofing job. Little did she know this would be the last time she would see her son. Christopher Dowfit was born and raised in the Bent Chimney area of Franklin County. The older of two sons, his mother Mary described him as a country boy at heart who enjoyed hunting, fishing and fixing up cars. His father passed away in 2010. At times, Chris had a somewhat troubled personal life. According to court records, he was arrested in 2010 for grand larceny. He was also charged with violation of probation, but it was later dismissed. Despite his issues, those who knew him described him as a young man with a caring heart. Come February 2013, nine months before his disappearance, Chris was now living with his girlfriend in their home on Kingston Road. His girlfriend was also pregnant, so Chris was about to be a father, and he was overjoyed about it. However, in that same month, two brothers broke into the house where Chris and his pregnant girlfriend lived. Chris and his girlfriend sustained cuts and bruises in the attack. Determined not to let them get away with it, Chris testified at the trial of one of the assailants, who was found guilty. He was due to testify against the second brother, but he would disappear before the court date. Later in the year, Chris's girlfriend would give birth to twins. Sadly, one of the twins died in August of 2013, which would leave Chris devastated. I can't confirm the circumstances of the child's death, but the relationship wouldn't last. His girlfriend continued caring for their child. They were fighting over custody of their daughter, and they had taken out an order of protection against each other. Chris was scheduled to appear in court on Monday, October the 28th in Franklin County. He disappeared three days before the court hearing. Despite all of this going on, his mother said things were on the up for her son. She said he was happy and certainly wouldn't walk away from his daughter. Nothing seemed unusual on the morning of October the 25th, 2013. Chris had been staying with his mother for a few days and he didn't have a car. So Mary dropped him off at work at Vinton Roofing on East Washington Avenue. During the drive, the pair were laughing, smiling and singing to the radio. And when she dropped him off, she said, I love you, son and he said, I love you too, and I'll talk to you later. This would be the last time she would get to tell him that. And after finishing work early, he got a ride to a Kroger grocery store in Vinton, Virginia, and cashed his paycheck at 3.30pm. A friend dropped him off at Chaps Tavern in Campbell Avenue in Roanoke, Virginia, at 4.30pm. Chris was supposed to walk to Food Lion on Bennington Street, about two miles away, to meet a female friend at 5pm who would take him home. He never met up with that person and would never be seen again. With no word from him and no one able to get hold of him, a week later Chris was reported missing. Police in Vinton took the missing person report initially because that was the last place Mary had seen her son. There is conflicting information as to where Chris was come 5pm. One article says cell phone data indicate that Chris, if he was the one in possession of his phone at the time, was in the area of 9th Street, likely heading towards the bridge to cross the Roanoke River and all contact was lost from then on. However, other reports state that other patrons from Chaps Tavern recall that he stayed at the bar until 8pm and left on foot. There has been no activity on his bank account since this date, and the case quickly went silent. 
The Vinton Police Department later turned the case over to Virginia State Police, and in 2017, a new agent thrust himself into the investigation. He began at square one, and his team of three full-time agents set to work interviewing more than 150 people. He also began executing a search warrant to obtain the content from Christopher's Facebook account. The investigator would later say in 2018, we have a pool of persons of interest in this case. At this point, we're working this case as a homicide and we're working it rapidly but methodically. He says the investigation has led them into Roanoke County, the city and into Franklin County but progress doesn't happen overnight. Billboards went up around Roanoke and Franklin counties for several weeks, raising eyes and awareness for the need for even the smallest pieces of information. But 10 years have now come and gone, and the family still have no idea what happened to Chris on that day back in 2013. Authorities don't believe his disappearance is related to the earlier assault. The second brother was later found guilty. Chris's mother, Mary, keeps posters displaying photos of her son starting from the moment he was born. She takes these posters to events that raise awareness about missing people, hoping to keep Chris's case fresh in people's minds. Over the years, Mary has worked constantly and has never stopped in her efforts to locate her son. But despite her best efforts as of 2023, the case currently remains unsolved.